I'm probably going through a midlife crisis or something. I love doing these videos, but I always have these thoughts that just pop up into my head and I want to share them. So take it or leave it. Um, you can stop watching or you can carry on watching. That's why you're still here, you're still watching. <laughs> so I had this thought, I've been racing my head. The, th the thought is um, the first take. And uh, I, don't know, I had a conversation with a friend recently and they asked, uh, you know, how many recordings, I mean, when, you, when you're recording and doing the videos, how, how many takes does it take? Um, and I normally say it's generally the first take. Honestly, about 99.8% is the first take. I um, don't want these things to be so fancy. I don't want like fancy things flying into the screen and uh, it doesn't need to be have quirky little gimmicks on the, on the, the video. And I don't want to be too polished. I just wanted a, a bit of a sense of um, that it must be raw. It must be raw and just straight up to say it as it is. I have no fancy words, no verses popping up onto the screen. I've learned some video editing in 2020, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't always do, do that. Um, but the first take idea that I have is uh, basically, if there's anything you take away from this very short video, I don't want it to be very long, is don't get stuck in the takes. Because sometimes people do a first take, a second take, a third take, a fourth take, fifth take, and they never release it. They never get it out there. Whatever project, whatever thing you're doing, sometimes if the, the first take is good enough, and just send it out. Um, upload it, share it, uh, produce it. But sometimes the first take is what you need to go with. And because there's a sense of rawness with it, the sense of honesty. You're not saying the other takes are just not honest or dishonest, if that's a word. But we want to polish things up too much and then we get, we get caught up in all the takes and then we never release it. No one gets to hear um, or see the thing we wanted to share with the world, the thing we've created, the thing that we need to give out. And I was thinking about my book earlier in October, I released it. And it's, there's many books out there. It's just one of the many books on a shelf. But I, I, it was my first take. I did it. And I'm so glad to have it out there. And you know what? A story is going to land in someone's life. One of the stories in the book is going to land in someone's life. And it's going to, I don't know, just encourage them, make them feel good, make them uh, inspire them. Um, I have this, this, this th quote that I came up with. Ideas breed ideas, or creativity breeds creativity. Sometimes people are inspired <laughs> by your creativity or by your idea, and another idea formulates in their head. Um, but yeah, we want, like, I think, especially in the recording industry, when people are doing songs and stuff, they record it, they polish it so much, and then when the final products, they're not happy with that either. And so that's the thing there's nothing wrong with perfection. Perfection is what we should strive for. But there's certain times when we know when we need to realize when we need to stop trying to make it so perfect and so polished. It's this, and that applies to certain things. Yeah, always try your best. Always, um, yeah, seek perfection. But sometimes, yeah, it's just sometimes the, the first cut is fine. Sometimes the first take is fine. And, and go with it and roll with it. Um, so that's what I wanted to share. I don't know if it helps you. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But thanks for watching. Anyway, check out how cool these woods are. Um, about a kilometer away from my house, maybe two kilometers. So beautiful. I'm hearing the crows in the background. Just a beautiful blue sky shining through the, the, the dead leaf. I mean, the no leaves on the tree. How beautiful. Thank you for watching.